Hi, I'm Andy Adams, editor at Canadian Yachting Magazine, and with me here today is Ron Hybers, president of Volvo Penta of the Americas. Ron, welcome. Thanks, Andy. Great to be here. Wonderful to get together, and great to have an opportunity to talk about this past year. It's been an exciting year for Volvo, hasn't it? Andy, it has. I think um, I indicated last year we had some exciting things coming down the pipe, and uh, we did, uh, in fact, release some of those products. Uh, the new 430 gas engine, and as well, what the really exciting one was this, the glass cockpit. And uh, we won an IBEX Innovation Award, also a METS Award in Amsterdam. So it was a really, I think this is going to be another exciting thing for navigation and boating, easy boating, as IPS was. And, and, and it's one of those areas where the technology has really advanced it for the boater, made it a lot easier, made it more enjoyable, and a more integrated kind of an experience. Yeah, I think, Andy, the, what IPS did was to, the idea that we have, what's guiding us easy boating, is that we want people to not have to make it so complicated. And what glass cockpit brings, besides what the joystick did to be able to move the boat, now what you have is uh, what people, you think of your iPad, uh, you have the glass panels and it's all integrated, whether it's the engine uh, performance uh, data, uh, the, the navigation, and other systems, and you can configure it all the way you want. But what's more important is that you think about the old days when, when we used to go up and down uh, Lake Huron with a paper chart, Dead Reckoning. Now it's all there, it's a safety feature. I mean, you can have backup redundant systems, you see where you are, and I think it really improves the confidence and the safety factor besides then the fun and usability. Well, it, it's a great point to, to talk about how easy it is to go places because one of the other things we discussed when we were together last year was the fact that you've now expanded the whole um, restructured to be um, uh, the service and sales and, and all of the other support that Volvo has all the way from Canada right to the Caribbean, am I right? Yes, you're right. And, um, you know, that's an area that, the great thing about boating uh, is that it's, a, it's, a, it's an activity for the family that you can go from, you know, Toronto or Halifax or Vancouver all the way south and uh, across the ocean. And one of the things that we've been able to accomplish is, is making stepwise improvements so that that service that I talked about last year, whether you're in the Caribbean or here, you can get good service levels. And I can tell you for sure uh, we need some more. Um, uh, and we've added more dealers this past year, but what we're getting now is standard policies and procedures so that people can get that service that they expect from Volvo. That's terrific news. There's something else too, isn't there? You've expanded the warranty coverage? Yes, uh, what, uh, we already have the leading on the gas side, as you know, we have five-year coverage and that's from Volvo. Uh, and that, gives, that shows the confidence we have in our product and I think we're leading on the industry in that. And now this year we, we announced on the diesel uh, range, whether on sailboats or uh, inboards or IPS, uh, we have five years coverage. So it's uh, two and then, and then three years of major component. You can purchase an additional three years to get five years full factory coverage from, from Volvo. So that's us standing behind our product and making sure that that customer has, you know, no, no surprises, and uh, I, we think it's been, it's been well received, I can tell you that. Well, because that would really be peace of mind. If a guy has gone and bought a boat, even if it's not brand new in the last couple of years, but he's got this kind of coverage, and he gets used to the boat here, he decides he's going to make that big trip of a lifetime, he's going to take it to, down the, the intercoastal to Florida, out into the Caribbean, you've got him covered. We do, and I think the other thing that's, um, where what, what you see driving us is that this integration that you spoke of here a little bit earlier, the, the key with integration, that's what glass cockpit is into the engine and the drive systems, it's all from us, from helm to propeller. And so when something goes wrong, you call us, uh, you call our dealers that we have that are well trained with the tools, and it's one call and one service point. And at the end of the day, we take full responsibility. I think that just, it saves a lot for the owners to, you know, do I have to call this transmission manufacturer or that, you know, that, that navigation system. You can call Volvo service and get it done. So we think it makes that experience better. Well, you know, it strikes me that that would be the way you would expect it to be if you had a luxury car. If you own a BMW or a Mercedes or something, you're going to make one call, you want that car fixed. Well, that's, that's uh, true. And that's, uh, with, with the Volvo, uh, you know, we know the Volvo brand is a premium brand. Uh, yep. It's not everybody, but we think that people that demand quality, uh, reliability, uh, and then that sense of responsibility, that's what we give. And as you know, Andy, we take that responsibility because on the marine business, we're the only uh, marine leisure company that offers from 13 horsepower all the way up to a single 1,200 horsepower installation. You 
you can do triple to have 3,600. So whether it's sailboats, uh, power boats, inboards, IPS, we have the breadth and the experience and the history to, to do that. And that's why this integration of these warranty things, we think, uh, give that peace of mind that you talk about. It's a big investment and what people are on the water, they want to enjoy it. I mean, that's what boating lifestyle is, is for quality of life. That's what we really work on. Sure, you want to be able to count on it and have a good time, not have a problem. That takes me back to something else I wanted to ask you about, which is what Volvo does in terms of research and development before a product gets into the marketplace, there's, there's quite a process behind that. Yeah. Um, what, on the R&D side, Andy, the, um, Volvo has a history of uh, investing, some say, too much on the R&D side. And I think that customers, uh, as, as, as we get to know the Vavo brand, I think what people realize about the Vavo brand and products is that what they are are innovative, they're reliable, and they're feature quality. And maybe what we aren't is, is maybe the glitziest marketing company. Now, at the end, I'm here to try and improve our market position on that, but we spend uh, high, well over 5% of our uh, sales on R&D. And so our products are tested, tested, and tested. And uh, really, that's a hallmark of what we have. The other piece about that, Andy, is that because we're part of Volvo Group, and Volvo Group has such a core at the engine, uh, to meet all these emission regulations that, and the different core requirements around the world, we have the scale to be able to find the right technology that can be cost competitive yet and reliable. So that's what we're also able to bolt on because it's all of our uh, engine technology and then the electronic architecture to integrate that. This is really a key thing that, that in the end really brings the reliability. That's terrific news. There's something else that I think is good news. Aren't we getting a sense that uh, our friends south of the border are kind of coming back, housing prices firming up a little, I hear. Are you yeah. getting that? Well, Andy, it's, uh, it's great to be back home here in Canada. Uh, and uh, nice to see that I was able to bring some warm weather. Uh, but uh, I can tell you that what is warming up in the States really is the optimism and the economy. You're seeing uh, good uh, corporate profit numbers, but more importantly, you're also seeing a sense that with the housing prices improving, uh, pe people's real wealth is improving. I mean, uh, if you compare to, I was down in Florida over, over the uh, holiday break, and I can tell you one thing, I wished I would have bought a home down there a year ago, and I still didn't buy one this year, but the prices are up. And I think really what you're seeing that, and that's uh, factoring itself at boat shows, is that people can see that y you aren't facing these uh, deflationary pressures, and you can see some optimism. So people are saying it's time to get back on, enjoy life, and, and boating and yachting is the best thing for quality of life. So yeah, we feel it, and we're glad to hear that some different segments, whether it's pontoons, pontoons have been doing very well, the ski boats and the stern drives. I can tell you, we had a bit, we, even though that market had a difficult year, we had an up year. So you're seeing good pockets, and that's the reason we're optimistic. Fantastic. Well, listen, that's really great news to start off 2014. And so, thanks so much for joining us and wishing you all the best in the coming year. Thank you, Andy. Yeah, great to be here.